Hi guys and welcome back. So today I have another timeless piece of magic for you. Now people sometimes ask me, how can you always seem to find the exact card you want? You can always find it when you want it. And I say, well, it has to do with intuition. I just intuitively find them. And they say, well, yeah, maybe you can have that intuition because you've been practicing so much, but I could never do that. But then I say, well, people usually have a lot better intuition than they think. So let's try that out today, should we? So I ask them to cut about a fourth of the cards like that. And then another fourth, about a fourth and another fourth. Okay, so they could have cut wherever they wanted, right? But you happen to cut exactly to this card to this card, to this card, and to this card. So those four cards. So should we see what cards you cut to? So the first card happens to be, well, an ace. That's cool, the ace of diamonds. The second card, oh, the ace of spades, and the ace of clubs, and the ace of hearts. So apparently you also have a pretty good intuition. So congratulations on that. Okay, guys, let's learn this trick together. So I hope you liked that trick and if you did remember to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome card magic. We're going through all the basics of card magic right now so make sure to subscribe for that. And when we reach 3000 subscribers we're gonna have a giveaway so make sure to subscribe for that as well. So let's get into this trick now. This is a very classic plot in magic once again. This particular handling comes from Larry Jennings. It was first published in Genie magazine. You can find it in the classic magic of Larry Jennings. You can also find it in Card College Volume 1 by Roberto Giobbi. Now this trick works great on its own, but I usually do this trick after I've done a routine where I first cut and find the aces. And then I go into this whole thing that, okay, I, I use my intuition and I cut to the aces. And usually people have a lot better intuition than they think. So I do a multiple shift and I control these cards to where we need them and I get into this trick. So that's one way of doing it, but of course it works great on its own, as I said. So the setup for this trick is to have three of the aces on the bottom and one of the ace aces on the top. So three on the bottom, one right here on the top. Before starting, we can always do a false shuffle of some kind. The easiest in this case will probably be to just do a riffle shuffle and, you know, riffling off at least those aces and ending with this ace, just like that, and maybe follow that up with a false cut of some kind. Doesn't have to be harder than that. Now we get into the trick, and I ask them to cut about a fourth of the cards, and I kind of mimic that so they know what to do. So they cut about a fourth over here, doesn't really matter how much, and then another fourth, and another fourth, okay? So right now, of course, we have one ace right over here on top and we have three aces right over here on the bottom. So now we need to get a break above these three aces right here. And we're going to do that by just spreading the cards out and get a break like this. But remember, doing something solely for the fact that it's needed for the method is not good enough. You need to have a outward justification for why you're doing it. And in this case, it's very simple. All you have to say is, okay, you could have cut anywhere and you indicate that by spreading the cards. So they could have cut here or here, you know, is the underlining meaning of this. But all you do now is get a break above those three aces on the bottom, just like that. And next you go, okay, but you cut to this card and this card and this card and this card. And here comes the only kind of sleight of hand move in this trick. You're gonna square these up just like that and you're gonna slide that top card over along with the bottom aces and just table that packet like that. Okay, so you square them up, you slide that as you table that on the table. And this is a very covered and natural move but 
for some misdirection, I usually do this when I look them in the eye and I said, okay, should we look, should we see what cards you cut to? Okay, so that gives you a little bit of misdirection at the right moment. So now, of course, you have the aces here and all you have to do is place them on the piles to kind of indicate that, okay, we just place them where they came from. Okay, so it's very simple. It's a very quick and simple trick, but it gets sometimes it gets wild reactions because they, they actually think that they cut to the aces, but they can't get their head around. How, how could I do that? What are the odds, you know? So it can get really crazy reactions. I really hope you like this. And remember again to leave a like and subscribe if you did that. And remember, we're having a giveaway when we reach 3K subscribers. So subscribe for that. And I'm gonna show you a very cool trick when we do that too. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.